Well, today, sworn law enforcement officers, firefighters, and teachers over age 50 learn that they, too, will soon be able to get vaccinated. CBS 4's Joan Murray continues our team coverage, and she is live outside the Broward School Board with when and how. Joan. Well, this is really the moment so many have been waiting for when they would expand the inoculation process to people beyond 65 and older and who have serious health conditions. So now, thousands and thousands of teachers here in Broward and Miami-Dade are eligible, along with law enforcement and fire personnel. We're trying to get the vaccine to the people who it will make the most impact for. The COVID vaccine finally on the fast track in South Florida. The governor opening up the new FEMA site at Miami-Dade College's North Campus, which kicks off next week, to three groups of people. We want that to be open, not just to seniors, but to sworn law enforcement and classroom teachers. And so we'll start probably 50 and up uh, for, the, for the police uh, and, and the classroom teachers. Uh, the fire who hasn't gotten it, some of the fire have already gotten it, uh, will do it. A huge relief for teachers like Marie Ressler. She's 54, an elementary school teacher in Fort Lauderdale. I've been worried about catching it because I don't go out, I stay home, but we can't control what our students do with their families. My feeling has always been if you want the children to return, then vaccinate the teachers. As a grandparent, I have children, I have twin grandsons in high school that are home, but if they're teachers were vaccinated, I would feel more comfortable about sending them back. In both Broward and Miami-Dade, administrators and the teachers union see it as a path forward to some normalcy, finally. And it'll help them be, you know, able to get back on school sites if they are able to, you know, if they're still working remote or even if they're on a leave, you know, it'll give them an opportunity to come off leave and, and get back on the school sites for the students. The vaccine is just absolutely key to addressing uh, fears and concerns on the parent guardian side as well on the teacher side. And if we're able to do that, the beneficiaries of that are going to be our students who are caught in the middle of this far too often. That means about 8,500 teachers from Miami-Dade. So we'll be working with the appropriate entities uh, to, quite frankly, uh, create the conditions for those 8,500 educators to be vaccinated. And we hope that all teachers that are 58, that are the age of 50 and older, uh, will definitely uh, take advantage of this opportunity and will continue to ask the governor to make it a priority for all teachers. And it really puts everyone on a path forward to things being somewhat normalized by next fall. And the superintendent had one other big announcement today, and that is live graduations are going to be happening here in Broward County in some form. Reporting in Fort Lauderdale, Joan Murray, CBS4 News. Good news to hear, Joan. Thank you, Broward.